Okay, well, I think we have time for one or two quick questions. Are there any questions out there? Thank you, Alex, that was awesome. Uh, so there's another thing about unsupervised methods is that they have hyperparameters. And that's a really a problem because I think the, the underlying idea is that you need to know the domain and you kind of need to know the answer to, uh, to set them up. So um, yes, and this is also part of the issue uh, with the difference between supervised and unsupervised machine learning because for supervised machine learning, we already have tutorials and guidelines. For unsupervised, indeed, we have to spend quality time with it. We have to look at a thousand of these simulations to figure it out. So uh, one approach that comes to mind is our automatization of essentially grid search on multiple uh, variations of hyperparameters and finding uh, clusters that appear everywhere. Another approach is finding clusters that appear only in some specific uh, situations. But in general, we definitely need to invest uh, in uh, making better interpretations. So some kind of automatic, not just looking at the picture and finding cluster, but actually somehow scoring these unsupervised maps and figuring out which ones are giving us the most information. It's not impossible. It's just it's not done in industry. So it's up to us. Okay, let's thank Alex again.